Hey everybody, it's Badgerati, and welcome to Let's Play Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure. In this Let's Play, we're going to, I'm going to be showing you how to do all the story mode through Goku, get all the items, uh, defeat the last boss, and probably at the end I might run through the story with Quillen. So, let's jump in. Okay, what we have here is story mode, which is, well, kind of defines itself, really. One-on-one -on -one is battle mode, where you can fight someone else. Options is... Well, options where you can do A to data, blah blah blah. Uh, link mode, I can't exactly remember too much, but what you really want is story mode! And here we go, this is where the story starts. In the anime, if you do, if you ever watch anime, the anime, this will probably seem extremely familiar. So yes, we started with the mountains, uh, Goku's working hard, he's training, and then Bulma comes along! Yes, that pesky brat. I didn't really like Bulma too much, she was kind of annoying. She comes to um, Goku, she has a Dragon Ball. Uh, sees, Dragon, sees that Goku has the 4 star Dragon Ball, starts begging for it. Um, apparently they're also beautiful balls. Sounds kind of wrong if you ask me, but hey. Right, Dragon Ball sounds probably wrong as well. And, it oh yes, when you get all 7 together you get Eternal Dragon and you get anyone wish you want. And then all the Dragon Balls fly across the world again, turn to stone for a year and then you have to complete them again for another wish. But hey. And they make a proposition and they grab the secret other Dragon Balls and this is where the story starts. Behind us is Gohan's house. Gohan is Goku's grandpa. Well, grandpa. If Goku were human. Uh, okay, let's see the controls here. You've got A is jump, B is basically beat everything up with your stick and fist. Uh, jump down and B is a kick. And there's some other moves I can show you later on, but I don't know how to do it now. Double, double, come on, yeah, there you go. You can make a run, whoa, and now we go and beat everything up. Yeah. If you see any food, drop it. We plan to go through hell. Which is very nice bit. The choice, I think a lot more food should drop because Goku consistently eats. I suppose you should get hungry a lot in this game. Look, okay, everything is beating up. Yeah. The game is extremely satisfying to take your anger out on. Which is exactly the reason why I did, really. Uh, if any of you actually noticed, a few days ago, I announced that I was going to start doing a, like, release episodes, one of a week for Siberian Sun. So let's play Final Kong with Siberian Sun. I was going to do it, everything was going absolutely well, and all of a sudden, things started to break, and I started getting technical issues with everything. Uh, quickly, one second, I think. Yep, here we go. Die. She's hitting us. If she had a door like this, she'd go in it. I said, go in it, go Come on, go in. Thank you. If you ever come into something like this, you get food. Food defense health, and um, normally you decide to get capsules that have items in them. We'll see an example of this later on. But yes, with. I didn't say go back in. Got down. But yeah, I think I started getting technical issues with uh, having sun and fraps. First of all, neither of them would work, and I couldn't figure out why, because fraps is working with uh, Super Mario 64. So I managed to, I was messing around, fixed a few glitches, and eventually I managed to make it so either fraps worked, and having sun didn't, or having sun worked, and fraps didn't. Um, currently I've got them both working, if you can call it work. And there's just a few minor glitches that I kind of need to smooth over. So, in theory, it should be out by the end of this first episode. I wish it should be out by the end of this week. And that's what we're going through. Die! Yes, we're going through on how to kill yourself. Come on. Um, no, I'll be going. I'll be going through the GDI missions first, as well as all the optional missions, and then probably jump along and onto the nod missions. Okay. Also, I never actually noticed it before, but when you watch the intro to just die, you stupid bird. Thank you. Uh, I've never actually noticed it before, but if you actually watch the intro to uh, Tiberian Sun from the main screen, <clears throat> one of the the commander for the GDI is the voice actor for Darth Vader in the original three. I never knew that before. Oh, if you're running low on health by the time you get to this point here, there should be a hamburger! And then we're just going to back up with you, Rainbow! 
Yeah, best stick ever. Give okay, us your question mark here like this, you've got to kill a lot of enemies before you can move on. And there are too many of them in this level. Really, there are, there's millions of them. Come on. Die. 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 Thank you. Don't fall down the edge, thank you. Unlike the door before that we saw was open, if you see a door like this that um, is shut, you cannot go through it. It is for later on in the game, and I mean very later on, and there are a load of those doors. Uh, I think it's for when you complete the game, you unlock something called an extra mode, and I think that's when you get to go through those doors. I guess we'll find out. Oh, stop playing with these two games. I suppose it's just fun to beat everything up. Woo! If you get fans of things like Dragon Quest or I guess Street Fighter, really, this is an awesome game to beat things up. Except for these things that keep dropping bombs on me. Stop dropping bombs. Oh, he hasn't got a bomb, but I'm still saying he's gonna drop a bomb. Come on. Should be nearing the end soon. Yeah, die. Goes about first items. Not exactly a very good item, but it's useful, I guess. The second item we get is the best one, though. The best item in the game. And now Goku's beast up for the cute little doggies. Oh, Goku, stop doing animal abuse. Okay, ah, here we go. This is the first item of the game you're going to get. It is, of course, the Dragon Raider. Yeah. Nice little thing to help. And there's nothing else inside here, so we're just gonna go out. Uh, we're gonna enter another zone where we have to kill things. Drop them nice and fast. Die. Uh, where's the last one? Oh, there it is. Die. Oh, come on. Die. Thank you. A turkey replenishes one entire health bar, or at least, literally a health bar it should do. Yep, there you go, it's replenished a health bar. And we're gonna continue going on. Kill another doggy. Oh, I'll put the doggies. Oh, killing these guys is just far too fun. Nee. Stop shooting at me! Thank you for dying. Aww. I feel sorry for those doggies. Ah, here we go for our first boss. And it is... The boss is called Master Roshi's Turtle! And he wants him for food. You wouldn't happen to be a bad guy, would you? Aww, you gotta love Goku's innocent act. Yes, come on, we want to kill you, you evil boss. Yes, that's right, he wants to now eat us. I don't have a limit to appetite, really. Uh, this boss is extremely easy to beat. All you've really got to do is watch out for those shock waves. You just launched one off a few seconds ago. But, like, if you just nuke him, he dies. Uh, if you hold down L, Goku does that. Uh, R does do something, but we don't see that until later on. This guy's not dead, and he's dead! Yes! Easiest boss in the game. Not has nothing to do with the fact that he's the first boss, yes. And there you go. Uh, Goku returns to Turtle to V1, and the only, when he decides to appear, Master Roshi! Yes, the awesome pervy guy. I know they call him Pervy Sage from Naruto then. He's not even a sage, but... Hey! Oh, Goku doesn't even know who Master Roshi is. And he was taught by Gohan, come on! I thought Gohan would have mentioned Master Roshi at some point in time. Here we go, we get the Flying Nimbus! This is the second item you're ever going to get, and it is the best item in the whole game. I don't get anybody says. I just love this item. Even though you don't exactly get to use it much, it's awesome. Uh, yes, Bulma notices the pendant around Master Roshi's neck, so she asks for it, and he righteously just gives it to her. Yes. Even better is, he just gives it to her and he says, it's on the house! 
It'd be great if it actually was on the house, and she had to go up and climb it. That would be awesome to watch. But yes, we get the... I think it's a seven-star Dragon Ball, is it? I can't remember which Dragon Ball it is now. But I think we now have three Dragon Balls! Yes! And now we're going on to our next destination. And we have collected the Flying Nimbus! Uh, we can also do Sky Battles. Sky Battles are all right. They're not exactly that brilliant, though. They could have done a lot more with them in the game. All you really end up tending to do is just dodge all the creatures and kill the odd one. Uh, we do actually get to have a Sky Battle in our next destination, so we'll get to see that. And our next destination is to go and meet Oolong! He is the transforming pig, for those of you who are watching the anime and have just forgotten who he is. Um, unfortunately, we don't have time to go and actually meet Oolong and defeat him. So, join me back in the next episode when we're going to be doing that, and I'll see you then.